Bear Butler may have sold only one case at a time, but he was expanding the frontiers of his industry, building for today, when modern distribution methods would bring sparkling, gleaming bottles to people everywhere. Today, the bottle supplies refreshment to people wherever they are, goes with them wherever they go. Today, bright and cheerful soda fountains are the streamlined gathering places of a streamlined age, offering refreshment, relaxation, sociability to all. Today, in making all this possible, many industries cooperate with their products and services. The story of the refreshment business, like so much of the history of American commerce, is the story of partnerships in enterprise. In growing from simple beginnings to express stature, this business has helped other businesses to grow and has, in turn, been helped by them. One of these is the glass industry. Before refreshing drinks could be placed within arm's length of desire, bottles were needed, practical bottles that could be made economically in great quantities. Glass manufacturers found a way to meet this requirement. Glass making, one of man's oldest arts, has become one of the most modern of industries. Here, skilled craftsmen direct fabulous machines. Fiery furnaces yield an endless flow of molten glass. Sharp blades cut the stream. White hot blobs drop into waiting molds. Iron hands receive the molten mass. Spin it, twist it, turn it, and start it on its way. Other hands catch hold. They press and form the fluid glass, mold it into shape, giving each the distinctive character that identifies this bottle for people everywhere. Manufacturing plants 
Mark the growth of the refreshment industry. In spotless surroundings, amid gleaming stainless steel equipment, trained men work with unhurried precision. Their job is to blend sugar and other good things from the far corners of the earth into syrup for refreshing drinks. The scientist has joined the beverage manufacturer. Beverage making has become a science, like the preparation of other pure food products. Constant tests safeguard purity. Every ounce must conform to rigid standards of uniform quality before the syrup goes into containers, ready for the first step of its journey to you. Off it goes, barrel after barrel, to bottling plants in the north, the south, the east, and the west, large and small. Local enterprises owned by local capital, employing hometown folks. Bottling plants are important factors in the business life of their community. Inside these plants, men and machines unite in the job of bottling your favorite drink. Men start empty bottles to the washing machine. From then until the final step in the bottling process is completed, human hands direct but do not touch a single bottle. Out of the washer they come, bright, gleaming, sparkling clean. There's rhythm in their marks, the smart, efficient rhythm of modern industry. The filling starts. Each bottle receives the right amount of syrup. Round and round the bottles go, while carbonated water is measured and added. Round and round to the capping machine, where the modern bottle crown seals each one and safeguards the purity and wholesomeness of every drink. Round and round the bottles swirl until syrup and carbonated water mix to form the finished beverage. Round and round, bottle after bottle, moving endlessly to satisfy the needs of thirsty people everywhere. Refrigerate 
carbonated drink. Because of beverages, the ice man finds more work, sells more ice. The container business has a whole new market in carton to take refreshment home. And it needs men as well as materials, men to make drinks, men and women to sell them, soda dispensers, dealers, retail merchants, waiters and waitresses, delivery men, vendors. It has become a great modern industry, affecting many other industries. All year round, this business employs thousands directly. Indirectly provides work for hundreds of thousands more. From the first glass of effervescent water made by Priestley, from Sweetman's revolutionary experiments in sweetening and flavoring this water, from the gaudy but gay soda fountains of grandfather's time, and from the crude but ambitious plants of pioneer bottling days, the carbonated beverage industry has traveled far. It has made available to all what was once one of nature's luxuries. And in turning Priestley's discovery, as well as Beekman's daring idea into a product of everyday enjoyment, this business has fostered and promoted the American tradition of cooperation between industries. One business helping another. Partnership in enterprise to bring you refreshments through the years.